I sure hope you're having a great day today, wherever you are, whatever time it is you're tuning in. It's Tuesday where I am, and it's a beautiful fall day, October 6th. I want to remind you of a few things as you stay connected with me in Calvary Assembly of God here in Willoughby Hills, Ohio. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, October 7th, and we have a kind of a neat, fun evening planned for you. All ages are invited to a movie night. We'll be holding it in the Activity Center at 6.30 p.m., probably wrap up by 8.30 p.m. We've got popcorn already wrapped up for you in bags, so we're not going to be unnecessarily spreading germs, bottles of water, things of that nature for you to enjoy. We're going to be watching the movie Breakthrough. You may want to hop online, check out the trailer, see if it entices you or see if it's appropriate for your kids. Uh, but it is a movie that will really inspire your faith. You know, we just came off a season of prayer and fasting. I know many of you took time to really disconnect from the world in various ways and to really intentionally connect with the Lord in and through prayer and fasting to some level. I commend you for that. You know, God moves in powerful ways when his people do that. Well, tomorrow night's movie will really encourage our faith. It's a movie and it's based on a true story uh, about a family uh, who ironically is part of an Assembly of God church and uh, they go through uh, really a difficult, challenging scenario and uh, with their kids, their son in particular, and, uh, and they pray, they call out to God, and God does answer prayer. As you know, he doesn't always answer the way we expect, but he will answer. And, uh, and so uh, I want to invite you to come on out and be inspired. I think it will provide a nice opportunity for you moms and dads to uh, post-process with your kids uh, in terms of life and prayer and life's ups and downs and faith challenges, etc. So good opportunity. Hey, uh, speaking of my recovery, I mentioned that just a moment ago. I want to thank you for your prayers, your encouragement. Uh, you have been so kind, so gracious. I, I, I can't even thank you enough for the cards and the notes and the voicemails and the cookies and the dinners and the gift cards. And y'all have just been phenomenal. I just want to say thank you for your prayers. You know, People have asked, how am I doing? And I would say this, I definitely have had a, a slow go, but I sense God's grace and God's presence as a re result of your prayers. So thank you so much. Um, I've, I've, I've often shared in the last several days with those nearby, there are five ways. I said, you want to pray for Pastor Dan? Uh, give me five. Here's five ways you could pray. I said, number one, pray for my sleep. Um, pray for my sleep to be consistent and sound. Uh, more often than not, I've gotten three hours of sleep maybe five, six hours of sleep, and it's very uh, staggered throughout the evening. It's amazing how much work I got done administratively for the church between 4 a.m. this morning and, and now. Uh, it's not really the way I'd like to choose it, you know? So pray for my rest. Uh, pray for, uh, in terms of my arm, and again, if you're not aware, on uh, September 4th, I had a ladder give way, fell backwards, uh, and uh, it's really damaged my, my wrist, and I uh, had surgery on the 16th. So obviously pray for healing of the bones, et cetera, and the other dislocations, but um, for nerves and numbness, you know, I, I can't quite feel a couple of my fingers in the palm of my hand and just pray, pray with me and for me there. Uh, and, and for mobility, range of motion, um, my index finger, my thumb in particular, look, I do a lot of typing. That's part of my responsibilities and my preparations administratively and meetings and sermons and all that stuff. And uh, I'm praying, Lord, please let me be able to type, you know, by 2021. <laughs> I mean, dictation's nice, but it doesn't get it perfect, and it takes a lot longer to go back and correct it. So pray for me along those lines. Pray, pray also for my elbow. I have some damage there. Nothing too severe, but things are not real well. But the most important thing, the fifth thing, is to pray for what the, the doctors discovered just a few days ago, that there was, uh, when they looked at the x-ray, there was another bone that was broken that they had missed, and it's the saphoid bone in the palm of your hand, and um, just pray that the blood flow will be healthy uh, and proper to that bone um, this month. And October 30th, I'll be going back for another x-ray and a checkup. And, and at that point, they'll know whether or not I'm going to need further surgery. So I would really appreciate your prayers on, on those levels. God bless you as you do. Hey, I'm hoping to see you Sunday, October 11th, as we dive into God's Word, the book of Genesis, in a brand new series, In the Beginning. And... Um, I want to encourage you, if you've not yet thought about connecting for these six weeks that are about to commence, connect with a group. Connect with other believers. There's ways you can sign up. We're going to have growth groups that are, will be via Zoom as well as many, several at least, um, in person. Hop on over to our website, calvaryohio.org. Under the resource tab there at the top on the right, 
you'll find small group signups and uh, we'd like to get you connected so that you could post-process the sermons, really dive into the chapters and the verses and the uh, truths of God's Word and the practicality of it. Encourage one another for an hour or a week or so. Again, opportunities for you to connect and grow with your brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope to see you Sunday. I hope you'll jump into some growth groups, and uh, I hope that we'll be blessed and we'll grow together. You know, the final thing I want to mention is in a few weeks, uh, Sunday, October 25th, uh, right after the morning worship service, about 10 minutes following dismissal, we're going to hold our annual business meeting for uh, all of you are welcome to come, uh, but especially those of you who are active members uh, at Calvary Assembly of God. Hope you'll be with us as we review God's faithfulness. We will not be extremely long this year. There will not be a meal. Uh, we're going to worship. I'm sorry. We're going to meet in the worship center. Uh, again, take a quick break following service. Give God praise for his faithfulness, review finances, uh, look ahead with some vision, review our budget, um, you know, and just and be sure that um, you're praying with me. We're going to elect our uh, trustees to serve in the upcoming year uh, as they help us maintain our facility and our property and our deacon board. And uh, we're going to pray for our deacons and our trustees as they're elected and they begin to serve over the upcoming year. So I hope you'll join us uh, on the 25th. Uh, we need you there. You, uh, you're going to be able to, Lord willing, view that online, but we need members in the room to validate a, an actual quorum for a meeting. So we're hoping members will be there on Sunday, October 25th. Again, we are not going to be long with that meeting. Hope you'll join us. So, hey, God bless you. Thanks for your prayers. Stay, thanks for staying so faithful to the Lord. I pray you have a fantastic week, and we'll see you tomorrow night for our movie or Sunday morning. Blessings.